In this video, I've put two popular presentation tools, Gamma AI and Canva, to the test. I'll compare their speed, ease of use, presentation quality, export options, customer support, and pricing to find out which one you should use for your next presentation. I've also included side-by-side -side examples so you can see which one really stands out. Remember to check out the links in the description for easy access to these tools. Okay, so starting off with ease of use, let's begin with Gamma AI. I must say, it's great. Its interface is clean and focused on letting the AI handle most of the work. You simply visit its website, sign in to your account, and select the presentation option. Type in your prompt, and Gamma delivers a presentation that's practically ready to use. If you want to make tweaks, like adjusting the design or layout, the AI steps in to assist. You can even customize the style of AI images to match your needs. Whether you want your presentation to be simple, detailed, or something in between, Gamma makes it effortless to create precisely what you need. It also offers many valuable features, including generating presentations from prompts, pasting in text, importing content from a URL, or uploading a file. Pretty easy, straightforward, and highly efficient. Canva, on the other hand, is a tool that helps you create presentations quickly using AI-generated templates. Like Gamma, it's easy to use. When you log into your Canva account or Pro, you'll find an interface with plenty of options to explore. To get started, click on the Presentation option, then navigate to the Design option in the left toolbar. You can either use the AI-generated version or select a template from the options below. From there, add your details or make changes as needed, and you're done. If you enjoy customizing every slide to your liking, Canva is a great choice. However, I'd rate its ease of use at 3.9 out of 5, because, while versatile, Canva is an all-in-one graphics tool rather than a specialized presentation tool like Gamma. A new user might get confused at first while logging into its interface. Especially if you're an education plan user, you might not find the magic design feature there. To access it, you can switch to a free account or a regular pro account. Speaking of Gamma, I'd rate it 4.7 out of 5. It's highly efficient and focused on what it does best, creating presentations. The process is as simple as using ChatGPT, just enter your prompt, and you get a ready-to-use presentation. Next, judging both tools in terms of speed. With Gamma, all you have to do is enter your topic or prompt, and it takes care of the rest. For example, I typed in the benefits of remote work, and in less than one minute, Gamma generated a nine-slide presentation. What impressed me most was how the slides were good to go and required little or no editing. The slides were well-structured and ready to use almost immediately. It felt like the AI just understood what I was trying to achieve. I'd give Gamma a 4.7 out of 5 for speed. It's super quick and gets the job done really well without much effort. Canva, on the other hand, is even faster. I used the same topic, and Canva generated a 7-slide presentation in just 30 seconds. That's insanely quick and it's perfect if you're in a rush. I think I'd rate it 4.9 out of 5. Both tools are great in their own way. Sure, you might spend a few minutes tweaking things in either one, but whether it's two minutes with Gamma or 30 seconds with Canva, they save you a ton of time compared to the two to three hours it takes to put together a nice looking presentation in PowerPoint. Let's now look at the quality of presentation. Gamma's presentations are impressive, more in-depth, and better organized. The AI conducts its own research and is connected with advanced tools like ChatGPT to provide high-quality results. It understands the context of your input well and creates professional and cohesive slides. I'd say Gamma deserves a solid 4.8 out of 5 for quality. It's reliable and delivers great results. On the other hand, Canva slides, while visually awesome, can sometimes lack depth in content. You may need to spend extra time editing or rewriting the slide text to suit your needs. In many cases, you might need to regenerate the presentation or adjust the media to fit your needs better, as it doesn't quite match the level of precision and quality that Gamma offers. For quality, I'd give Canva a 4.2 out of 5. It's fantastic for visuals, but could use more depth in its content. 
That's not to say Canva is bad. Far from it. But it's clear that Gamma focuses on delivering smart, content-rich presentations, while Canva excels at aesthetic appeal. Export options are another key factor. Canva offers much more flexibility, allowing you to export your presentations in multiple formats, including PDF, JPG, PNG, and even animated videos. This makes it a fantastic choice if you need versatility, whether it's turning your slides into social media posts or delivering a dynamic, animated presentation. So Canva here gets Canva a 4.9 out of 5 for its variety of export options. Gamma, on the other hand, keeps things simple and to the point. It allows you to export your presentation as a PDF or a PowerPoint file. You can also share it with a link, give access to workspace members, or copy the embed code for easy integration wherever needed. While it doesn't offer the variety Canva does, these options are perfectly suited for those who just need a straightforward way to share or present their slides without worrying about additional formats. So here, Gamma gets a 4.2 out of 5. However, if your focus is primarily on slide content and design, Gamma's simpler export options are more than sufficient. Now, let's talk about additional features. One feature I really liked about Gamma is the built-in analytics. It lets you track how your presentation is performing. Super helpful if you're sharing it with an audience and want to know how it's being received. Another handy feature is the customizable cards thing. These cards are essentially large slides that Gamma organizes for you, keeping your content neat and easy to follow. You can change their colors, themes, change the text if you don't find it that informative. Replacing or deleting the image is also an option. I'd rate Gamma 4.5 out of 5 for these amazing add-on features. Canva, on the other hand, shines in collaboration. It allows real-time teamwork where multiple people can work on a project at the same time, adding comments or edits as needed. You can also add animations to a presentation in minutes. Plus, you know its amazing graphics, effects, and editing options. You can also use its built-in AI features like Image Expand, and even a Magic Write tool that can help prepare your presentation better. So, Canva for its versatility and reliability gets 4.8 out of 5. Next, pricing is where things get interesting. Gamma keeps things pretty straightforward. The free plan gives you 400 AI credits when you sign up, enough to create up to 10 cards and try out basic image models. However, the free plan also adds a Made with Gamma tag on each page of your presentation, which can only be removed with the Pro plan. If you need more, you can go for the Plus plan at $10 per month or the Pro plan at $20 per month. Both paid plans offer unlimited AI usage, which is perfect if you're planning to create presentations regularly. I am going to rate the pricing and the premium features offered here a 4.7 out of 5. Canva, on the other hand, offers more flexibility depending on your needs. Their free plan allows you to create designs without spending a penny. However, as shown in some images, Canva includes a watermark on designs created under the free plan. If you want access to premium content, advanced tools, and AI features, the Pro plan is available for $15 per month for individuals. If you're working with a team, Canva's Teams plan costs $10 per user per month, with a minimum of three users. For larger organizations, Canva's Enterprise plan offers even more features, but you'll need to reach out for custom pricing. So, how do they compare? Gamma's pricing is simple and focuses entirely on creating presentations, making it a great choice if that's your primary goal. Canva, however, gives you many more options, whether designing as an individual or collaborating with a team. If you value flexibility and want a tool that can handle various design tasks beyond just presentations, Canva might be the better fit, and I'd rate it 4.9 for its amazing pricing offers. But if you're all about presentations and love the idea of unlimited AI usage, Gamma has you covered. When it comes to customer support, both Gamma and Canva are dependable. Gamma offers email support and has well-organized help centers filled with guides and tutorials to walk you through any issues or questions. So for customer support, Gamma gets a 4.3 out of 5. 
Where Canva stands out is its active community. It's easy to find forums, user groups, and even tips from other creators, which can be a lifesaver if you're stuck or looking for fresh ideas. Gamma, while reliable, doesn't have the same level of community interaction. And I'd rate Canva's customer support and reliability a 4.7 out of 5. So, moving on to our final conclusion. Go for Gamma if you need speed and tools that make your presentation process super efficient. Choose Canva if you love customizing every detail and want access to various design options for all kinds of creative projects. You can also make consistent characters in Canva. Check out this detailed tutorial to know more.